Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to What's Map, your one-stop shop for everything workshop. I'm Bomb Bomb B and you're very, very welcome. Well, today's map would fall into the fantasy genre. Not that it's the most fantastical of maps you'll have seen on this channel, but it's not so much a realistic one, so therefore it has to fall into that category. Now, as a creator, we have done four times in the past, but not since episode 309. Well, they've taken a bit of a break from City Skylines. Good to see them back, as always. Uh, they were averaging about nine and a half stars per map back then. So I'm not expecting an all-star map today, but what grabbed me were the screenshots. And the map was just a little bit different from everything else that was newly released this week. So hence, it's going to get a little bit of a look. Like maps are just a little bit different from everybody else's. Right, okay, uh, before we go any further though, it's, yeah, time for a daily reminder. That's right, clicking that like button really does support the channel, gets me seen by more people and helps me grow a little bit more every single day. Thank you for your support. Today's map is Andorra Peninsula by John L. Now, of course, Andorra is a landlocked nation in the Pyrenees, and so therefore this is not a terrain party map. Uh, there's your start square, big slab of flat buildable space there. Can't complain too much about that. The terrain is relatively flat um, across the center of the map and uh, a few hilly bits on the outside, okay. The resources, good and strong. We've got a big slab of fertile land and ore and oil on the island if you've got the 81 tile mod active. The uh, fishing industry, if you have Sunset Harbor, looks a little bit like this. And then off to the workshop, what do we need? Well, no DLC required for today's map. In fact, it looks like there aren't any requirements at all. But if you read through the description, Mr. Miyagi's Celtic Coast is the theme in operation. Uh, there isn't a recommended LUT, so we're going realistic 1.2. It does say down there that there are a few trees added as stuff and stuff like that. Uh, Mr. Maison is mentioned by name as well. Now, uh, I loaded up the map and I've uh, gone with whatever I've got subscribed. And there are a few items on here, but I feel if you remove them, it won't make that much of a difference. So I would say, yeah, not truly essential, the items that are missing. Now this bridge, the uh, down ramps here, I feel could be stretched out a, an extra segment. So I'll probably do that right now. Might as well while we're here. So we'll extend those to an extra segment. I'm just gonna pick these two nodes here and here, elevate them up so it's just a nice smooth ramp to about there. And hopefully that will look just a little bit Little bit better yeah I'm, I'm i'm happy with that uh it, it wasn't the worst ramp i just think li just little improvements can be made here and there now this bridge is perfectly balanced yes it's an ugly old suspension bridge all the way across but uh it's still a solid they're perfectly aligned uh there's nothing really too much to complain about comes down to land and we just got a slight elevation in the land to get back up onto the plateau it's not hideous um, it's just a long suspension bridge, which uh, are never the prettiest things though. Okay, uh, the roads, uh, let's give some credit to the roads. They're not wavering around all over the place. We've got a nice equidistance going on down here between the two. So uh, th there are some, some things to shout about that uh, a lesser creator wouldn't be able to do so well. So when you're moaning about this map in the comments, because you probably will, remember there's definitely good stuff you can talk about as well so try to mention the good stuff little suspension bridge here um i think it's overkill to have a suspension bridge there but hey we've got one and this is actually the start square intersection a plopped timbo intersection you don't need to be subscribed to it because it's just nodes and segments uh, and it's a nice little uh, intersection now the highway if we were to go that way follows off to the edge of the map doesn't really do anything exciting apart from go through a forest and under a railway and somewhere over here in the start square we've got an asset of the day and this is uh, another one of my favorite creators this is palms time and the thai district office now one thing just look at the beautiful thai language look just look at the letters 
Oh, it's just such a beautiful, beautiful. I'm assuming it's Thai. <laughs> I'm assuming it's Thai, uh, given it's the Thai district office. But yes, it's uh, this. When you when you subscribe to this, if you subscribe to this, you get three different versions: uh, a small, a medium, and large. This is the uh, medium, and the smaller one would be slightly shorter wings, and the large one perhaps slightly longer wings. Okay, now you've know everything you need to know about the Thai district office. Let's do factoids because factoids. Uh, now, once again, old book, so I don't know whether this is still uh, true, but apparently there are more bacteria in a hospital operating theatre than there are in an ordinary living room. I've been to a few living rooms that aren't ordinary ones I would not want to have an operation done in, but good to know if you're having a baby. Uh, Thai District Office by Palms Time. Today's asset of the day. But yeah, I can I can I can see the argument for the uh, for the bacteria in the operating theatre. It's just a little bit worrying, of course, when you when you think oh, my living room ain't that that clean. Well, yeah, still cleaner than an operating theatre. Right, okay, uh, heading along towards I don't remember. I don't know. Don't, it's been a while since I recorded the fly through. Oh yes, uh, a swirly about. I quite like these. Again, good good work from Timbo here. And uh, it's it's even on a bit of a slope without looking hideous. So credit to John for that. Uh, then another one of the big old bridge. Everybody loves the big old bridge. And um, yeah, it's just a long stretch of suspension. And we've got one post here that's just a little bit lower than the other. That's uh, because the land that's been built on is just a little bit lower. So, But other than that, Oh, we're going. Apparently, we're going suspension over the land as well. What? Well, why not? Suspend a little bit. Suspend a little bit of disbelief on that. Never fan of big trees under the suspension sections. It's 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 playing with fire, of course. That you might actually get one that will just clip through. Uh, we've got away with it today, but uh, yeah, of course they wouldn't get enough light under there to be big trees. You might get a few small shrubs and stuff. The rail, the rail is, uh, well, here. This is interesting, it's fine. It's going down to a little feature area. Do you like a feature area? And this is actually quite a nicely done one without over elaborating things. I think John's done a pretty solid job here. We've got everybody's favorite factories side by side. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, we've got, uh, it's, it's walled around. And uh, what I like the, what John has done here. We've got the broken bit of wall here, here. And these ground-based rocks, we see them here and there, and I think they've been used to really good effect. Like here, just the little bit of land rubble. I, I, okay, is it the best, most exciting detailing I've ever seen? Of course it's not. But I actually quite like what John's done there. So I need a bit of credit for that. You know, where, when you can find something to credit, always try and make, make note. And of course, not just make note, copy the best of the ideas from the creators you might be able to find a because that's a vanilla rock and very few people actually use it when they do use it quite often it's not used very well at all i think that was used quite well so yeah uh the rail the rail we're just winding our way uh, here we've got a little bit of an incline here uh going up and over just the 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 foot part of this hill just up and down uh, it's it's a it's fantasy map, so we can allow for that, I think. Uh, oh, we're still on the rail bonbon. Why are you following the highway bonbon? Back to the rail bonbon. There you go. <laughs> uh, yeah, through the forests. Uh, I, I feel the... Now, the, the mix of trees on today's map, as, as mentioned previously, uh, are uh, are quite uh, quite vanilla. There are, like I say, the few bits that you, uh, you need to subscribe to that would be missing otherwise. I think we should talk about those after the break i was about to show you some of them now what i would have done with the rail though here is i would have stopped it on this plateau here it comes down to ground and i would have had here this your dead end maybe a siding or two maybe a factory maybe but for some reason we need a bit of a tail coming down to where would be the harbor i guess i feel this is a little bit too long i would just crop it back again cost nothing to bulldoze I'll just crop it back to the the plateau at the top there 
Arbitrary Walker's debut album, Walking in Ancient Footsteps, is mind-bending electronica. It will change the way you think about time, space, and reality itself. It's like hallucinating with your ears. Wait, okay, maybe it's not quite like that, but it's still darn good music. Arbitrary Walker, Walking in Ancient Footsteps, is available wherever quality digital music is sold. CDs available on Amazon, cover art by Papa Fox. It's psychedelic. Arbitrary Walker is not responsible for bleeding ears or exploding heads. Please listen responsibly. And so back to Andorra Peninsula by John L. And the shipping routes. Shipping route here goes through uh, the middle of that segment, avoids all the pillars, so that's good work. And then it goes uh, across the air route, which doesn't really matter. <laughs> and then it comes across down here, and we've got a potential right angle turn there, which are never the prettiest. Goes off the edge of the map, as you can see. Then this comes up between the volcanic island, another right angle turn there. And then this loops around. Now, speaking of loops, if we head right, it comes up here and we have a full on loop at the top. Not that it does anything, but uh, it's just, I guess, aesthetically a nice thing to see. And then that goes up, manages to avoid any pillars and uh, shipping clipping, and that's all good. Okay, uh, let's have a little look at the water flow. Okay. Uh, pulls it back and has a look at the water flow. There you go. <laughs> that best bit of editing you'll see today, that was. Anyway, uh, what we have here is uh, a spewing volcano water flowing down through past the start square. This uh, flows very nicely down, and this is though your actual start square water. And there is just a little bit of moving water just off of the coast. So that's, that's where you'd be drawing your water from if you need it. Uh, the map as a whole, I kind of like the shape of it. Uh, I, I, it's not the most exciting of fantastical maps. And uh, some bits are better than others. Like this little area here, I like quite a lot. We've got a few of the Park Life rocks there. Obviously, they came with Park Life, but uh, you don't need to have the Park Life DLC to be able to access them. We've got uh, a couple of the essential lighthouses there and there, which normally would be uh, an indication it's a gateway. Uh, and then you have the rocks in between. So I don't know so much about that. Uh, then we have, a, this is like your, your volcanic spawn area for your water. And I don't mind that too much either. I kind of like the shapes of the mountains and the hills in this area in terms of fantasy build. Less so though on the island over here. These three brothers of mountains, I'm not buying into at all. Uh, but tree placement on them like this island here i like the uh, tree placement on the uh, on the little mountain there that's that's pretty cool and over here as well around here and even the uh, trees that are clinging onto the side onto the cliffs i know i mentioned i don't like it but if i can buy into it i don't mind i can buy into those they're just down the lower reach as well one or two dotted on the top remember uh, a tree has about as much under the surface as it has over the surface, so the roots on there would make sense. What I don't really buy into though is this big old tree on the top up here. Where's his root system going to be going? I'm trying to find it. <laughs> the, the, the camera's not holding steady. There you go. Just about right there. Yeah, I'm not really buying into where that tree's root system would be. I would have gone with some, just the smaller trees across the top of that one. Uh, then if we head down the coast, let's see this this mix of forest is really very nice indeed again All of this pretty much is vanilla But there are a few of those custom trees to subscribe to and a good place to find them would be to come over To the factory no the factory the castle. Oh, it's a castle not the factory at all Oh, it's a castle and I don't mind this as, as a, a little set play either uh, have a little look at the entrance we have the two towers and the doors are on the inside which is a good bit of work but it does kind of fall apart a little bit where down here we have the tower with the door on the outside it's it seems a bit odd this one is partly covered by the uh by the wall and uh, yes it's but i do like the uh, the ground rocks being used as rubble again these are those custom plants, or some of them, 
and uh, I'm not really buying into these at all. And honestly, if you're not subscribed to them, I don't think you'd be missing out on much at all. One, one tree missing, the uh, jacaranda, uh, I don't have, and so therefore there'd be a little bit more colour on the map. But what do you think of the map? Is it a one-star map, a five-star map, or is it something in between? Your vote really does count. We use it at the end of the month for the viewers' choice top ten. Will this be one of the top ten maps of the month? Only you can decide. What do I think? Well, I think aesthetically, as far as fantasy maps go, I'd like it to have a little bit more fantasy. It's not a horrible map, but I just feel that it lacks a little bit of vision. And so I'm going to give it a medium high two stars. It's very close to being a three star map for me. And the three star is absolutely fine. But yeah, just a little bit more fantasy built into it. So a little bit more work with the trees. Uh, anyway, uh, that's aesthetics detailing. Detailing's pretty solid on the whole. There's not really too much wrong with it. It's just not very polished. I'm going to go medium low three stars. It's a pass mark. It's fine. Gameplay potential. It's pretty playable actually as maps go. Um, yeah. I, I can't really fault it that much. So I'm going to go medium high three. I, I could I could happily play on this one. Yeah. Andorra Peninsula by John L. I think that's fairly playable. It's just... As fantasy maps go, not very fantastical. I'd like to see a little bit more fantasy built into it. And uh, yeah, anyway, that's just my opinion. You have your chance to give your opinion down in the comments. Please do, because uh, I do read them and uh, I do I do take no notice. Of course, if you are still here and you are going to be writing in the comments, use the word of the day because you are part of the 20 and out elite, our secret society. Only you and I and anybody else watching the last 20 seconds know about the word of the day, so use it wisely. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. I'll be Bon Bon B. See you soon.